given the sequence a sub n equals three raised to the power of n divided by two raised to the power of n, we want to determine if the sequence is bounded or unbounded, determine if the sequence is monotonic or not monotonic, then determine if the sequence converges or diverges, and if the sequence does converge, we want to determine the value it converges to. Looking at our formula for a sub n, notice how both the numerator and denominator are being raised to the power of n, so we could rewrite this as a sub n equals three halves raised to the power of n. In this form, we may recognize this is a geometric sequence where r, the common ratio, would be three halves or 1.5. Let's begin by reviewing what it means for a sequence to be bounded or unbounded. A sequence is bounded if it has an upper bound and a lower bound, meaning all the terms of a bounded sequence are between or equal to the upper and lower bounds. So looking at the red and blue sequence graphed here, A would be the upper bound, since all of the terms in both sequences are less than or equal to A, and B would be the lower bound, since all the values in the sequences are greater than or equal to B. In order for a sequence to be bounded, again, it must have an upper bound and a lower bound. If it only has one, it would be unbounded. So going back to our example, notice how the first term in our sequence, a sub one, would be three halves to the first, or just three halves. And then notice for the second term, a sub two, we'd have three halves squared, or nine fourths. So notice how, as n increases by one each time, we're multiplying by another factor of three halves, or 1.5. So if we start with a positive value, and we multiply by a value greater than one, each term in the sequence is going to get larger and larger. Therefore, it's not going to have an upper bound, even though it does have a lower bound of three halves. So the sequence is unbounded. Another nice way to see this is to graph the sequence, which I've done here, and notice as it increases, the terms in the sequence increase without bound, and therefore the sequence does not have an upper bound, even though it does have a lower bound, which is hard to see here, of three halves. But we can see the three halves is the smallest value in the sequence as we list the terms, which I've done here. Now for the second part, we want to determine if the sequence is monotonic or not monotonic, meaning is it always increasing or always decreasing? And let's go ahead and review that definition as well. A monotonically increasing sequence is a sequence in which each term is greater than or equal to the previous term. And here are two examples of monotonically increasing sequences, so we should be able to quickly recognize that our sequence is also monotonically increasing, and therefore we do have a monotonic sequence. Of course, a sequence can also be monotonically decreasing, as we see here. But again, because we have a geometric sequence where r is greater than one, our sequence is monotonically increasing, and therefore we do have a monotonic sequence. Now for part three, we want to determine if the sequence converges or diverges, and if the sequence converges, determine the value. So we already know that the sequence increases without bound, and therefore we should recognize that the sequence is going to diverge. But to be more formal about this, if a sub n equals f of n, and the limit as x approaches infinity, of f of x equals l, then a sub n converges to l. But if this limit doesn't exist, then the sequence diverges. So again, we should recognize that our sequence is going to diverge. Notice how from the graph, the terms increase without bound. But to be more formal about this, we could let f of x be equal to three to the power of x divided by two to the power of x, and then take the limit of this function as x approaches infinity And notice how as n approaches infinity, the numerator increases faster than the denominator because it has a larger base, and therefore the values get larger and larger, as we saw from the graph, and therefore this limit approaches infinity, which does not exist, and therefore the sequence diverges. So we have a sequence that is unbounded or not bounded, monotonic, and diverges. 
I hope you found this helpful.